Here we are down below on board Laura. Snug main cabin with two single berths, city berths, one either side. There's a uh, varnish saloon table here which sits in the middle, fits into those notches. All teak joinery of varying ages. The joinery here at the aft end, as you can see, is, uh, is newer. Got large lockers, storage lockers. engine box over the top of the little three cylinder beater and again more storage lockers here DHF in there see the underside of the deck it's a solid teak yet laid screw to the deck beams You can see how the uh, underside here has been reeded, one side of each plank, to uh, break up the surface. Tie rods here across, keep the structure. Varnish teak skylight, typical of a period, very narrow. What's interesting, be able to see it here is there's a real camber on these side decks which is very apparent from the key and uh, gives phenomenal shape to the boat moving forward got some more joinery and storage space inside there's double varnished teak doors into the forepeak. Did used to be a heads in here, now being removed but could be reinstated. Quite a large space here, just used for sail storage. See here again with the structure, there's a large clamp in way of the rigging to support the beam shaft, give a bit of extra strength. Lodging knees as well in this area, with the heavy hanging knees, all in grown oak, copper fastened through. Um, the whole hull has been completely refastened in the last 10, 20 years. Several thousand copper rivets. Um, a lot of the frames here you see have been sisted up where there was any damage. Here's the arms of the long oak floors, the grown oak floors in way of the mast. Spreading the stresses of the rig. She also has a number of uh, wrought iron floors across the centre line, which again have all been out, tidied up and put back in with new bolts. Moving back aft, and up on deck. 